In this uh, video, we'll discuss about blood pressure. Now, when we use this word blood pressure, which is also written as BP as a short form, it is the pressure which is exerted by the blood on the walls of blood vessels. So we define it as pressure exerted by blood on the walls of blood vessels. Now we have seen the complete structure of heart and its working and we know that when heart contracts the blood is pumped into main arteries and the circulation is from arteries it would go to smaller arteries then arterioles and capillaries they would rejoin to form venules veins and ultimately it comes back into the heart so when the blood flows through all these uh, vessels the pressure goes on decreasing that means maximum pressure which is felt is in the arteries so here when we are defining it we are defining it as a general thing that is pressure exerted by blood on the walls of blood vessels. That means we are talking of all blood vessels. But when we have to measure this pressure, we are focusing on arterial pressure. So when we use the word <coughs> arterial blood pressure, <coughs> we are talking about the same thing as this definition with one change. Arterial blood pressure is the pressure exerted by blood on the walls of arteries. So instead of blood vessels, now we have specific name of that blood vessel. <coughs> and that is why it is known as arterial blood pressure. Arterial blood pressure is of two types. It is written as systolic pressure, blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure. Now when do we feel or find out or the blood vessels experience this pressure? Systolic blood pressure is the blood pressure that means the pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of arteries when the ventricular systole or contraction is completed we know ventricles contract the walls are thick that means the force with which the ventricles are going to contract is more so the ventricles are contracted maximum that is the time the pressure which is exerted on the walls of arteries is known as systolic pressure. Pressure exerted by blood on the walls of arteries at the end or we can say by completion of ventricular systole. <coughs> These pressures which are measured, they are measured indirectly. We'll talk about how we measure this blood pressure using the instrument which is commonly known as BP instrument or sphygmomanometer. We'll see that how we measure this. But it is indirectly uh, measured and it is measured in terms of or the unit in which it is given is millimeters of mercury. So this pressure in a normal healthy adult is 120 millimeters of mercury. Diastolic pressure, everything remains the same. That means pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of arteries when the ventricles are fully relaxed. So the definition remains the same. It continues where ventricles are fully relaxed that is the time whatever pressure is exerted <coughs> sorry on the walls of the arteries is known as diastolic pressure and this value is 80 millimeters of mercury so when we talk of normal blood pressure we write it as 120 over 
80. Many a times only the number is given, the units are not given. So it is understood that the unit is millimeters of mercury. Systolic pressure because the ventricles are contracting, the pressure exerted by the blood which is being pumped by the heart is more 120 millimeters of mercury and when the ventricles are relaxed that means they are no, not pumping any new volume of blood into the blood vessels. At that time also there is pressure but that pressure is less. Now we will add one term here which is known as pulse pressure. Pulse pressure is the difference in the systolic and diastolic pressure. Difference between systolic and diastolic pressure. <clears throat> that means we are talking of the difference between 120 and 80 and that is 40. So this is 40 millimeters of mercury. This is the pulse pressure. So when we talk of blood pressure, we are talking of a normal individual's blood pressure. And there are reasons or factors when this blood pressure changes, increases or decreases. Systolic blood pressure, that means when the ventricles are fully contracted and that contraction is complete. That is the time the pressure which is exerted by the blood on the walls of the arteries is 120 millimeters of mercury. And when the ventricles are fully relaxed, that time the pressure which is experienced on the walls of the arteries is 80 millimeters. And the difference between the two is known as pulse pressure. Now the measurement of this uh, blood pressure, how do we measure it? Measurement <coughs> of blood pressure is by indirect method. It is indirectly done. This indirect method is known as osculatory method and here the pressure is not directly measured using the blood. First, that blood pressure is converted into air pressure and that air pressure pushes the mercury column and that is how we measure it. The instrument which we use to measure <coughs> commonly we just call it BP instrument but it is sphygmomanometer. This is the instrument. Now, when we talk about the discovery of it, the modern sphygmomanometer which we use, which can detect systolic pressure as well as diastolic pressure, was developed by in which this has this name has been written one is k o r o t k o f f and the other is k o r o t k o v and both these names can be seen in uh, different books so the name of the person was nikolai korotkov or nikolai korotkov he was the one who actually modified the originally developed sphygmomanometer. But the original sphygmomanometer was not able to detect systolic and diastolic pressure. This is the one with which we can actually measure the systolic pressure that is 120 millimeters and diastolic pressure. And that is why whenever we talk of the discovery of sphygmomanometer, we are normally talking of the most recent one. And that has been developed by Dr. Nikolai Korotkov. And now, how do we measure this? The measurement of blood pressure is a, a simple but a peculiar mechanism. For that, we need to understand how this sigmomanometer works. So in the next segment, we will see the measurement procedure.